Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at the Casio FX991 MS calculator and how to use the store and recall and memory functions of it. To do this we'll be using the shift key located here in the top left, the store recall key located here, the A through F alpha memory save slots located along this row with their letter in the top right hand corner of the key. So you can see the A, B, C, D, E, and F in red. The X and Y save slots, again, the red X and Y in the top right hand corner, and the M save slot with the red M in the top right hand corner there. We will also be using the alpha key located here. All right, so, to store a value, you place it on the screen, then press shift, and then the RCL key with the shift value of store, and then choose a slot. So we'll save this 100 to the A slot. You can see 100 into A. You can also save the results of calculations. So if we had 1000 divided by 3 equals and we didn't want to type this out, so but we wanted to save it into our calculator memory. We would place it in the B slot, so shift store B. There we go, 1000 divided by 3 into B. We can recall these values with the RCL key. So to recall our A save slot, we press RCL A. There we see A equals 100. And our B save slot, RCL B, 333.333, which is what we got from 1000 divided by 3. This calculator also has an independent memory slot, which is the M slot located here. What this means is we can add and subtract to that slot without overriding it. So if we say put 100 in there, shift store into M, there we go, 100 into M, and then want to add something to it. So let's add 20. We can do that simply by pressing the M plus key. There we go, 20 M plus. And we can check to see if that worked by recalling it. Recall M, yep. 100 plus 20. We can also subtract from it. So let's take 5 away. 5 shift m minus. There we go. 5 m minus. And if we recall it now, we should get 115. And there we go. We can also recall and use these save functions or slots as a alpha or a letter on our calculator using the alpha key. This is very helpful if you want to use it in a long complex formula or calculation and don't want to have to write out the whole number. An example of this would be using it for Pythagoras which we know is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and can be written as the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. Let's say we wanted to solve this triangle here, which has an A side of 4, a B side of 3, and an unknown C side that we're trying to solve. Well, we could save the A side of 4 into our A slot, place it on the screen, shift, store, A, there we go, 4 into A, save the B side of 3 into the B slot, 3, shift, store, B, 3 into B. We'll recall those just to make sure we have them correct. Call A, 4, yep. Recall B, yep. Looks good. Alright, now we can enter them into our formula. So, since this is what we want to use, we'll start with the square root, bracket, recall A, that's our A, square root, plus Recall B, square root, 
close bracket. There we go. Remember, A is 4 and 3 is our B. And we press equals, which gives us 5, which is the correct answer for the length of this side of A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there.